everybody and welcome back to a very special episode of Risk. Today's video is not going to be like anything that you've ever seen on this channel before. This is the official Rivertown run back and what you're about to see is from a VOD that I played earlier today. I was on Twitch, I was playing some Risk and we played three games in a row on the very same settings and over time uh, I think it was just kind of an interesting thing where oh, you see me progress and learn a little bit more about the map each time and it's a very tricky map. This is Rivertown and we were playing Progressive Capitals and as you will see a lot of mistakes were made and not one single game kind of stood out to me as like a monumentous one game video but there were so many interesting parts during each of these games that I actually kind of want to encapsulate this entire moment all into one video so you're going to see me play Rivertown and then you guess what you're going to see you're going to see me run it back and then after that I'm gonna run it back again. It's the Rivertown run back, three games in one video. And this used to be something that I thought that this channel was going to be for. Originally, one of the ideas was to post a lot more VODs from Twitch, a lot longer unedited content like this, which gives you a lot longer video, but I do understand that a lot of people probably just want one really concise, super mega video with only the best stuff. And that's usually what we do around here. But let me know if you do like this kind of stuff. I hope that you understand uh, what you're about to watch. And I hope that you do watch it all the way through, but I'll leave some timestamps in case you wanna jump from game to game. I'm going to leave all the filler in. This is exactly what a Twitch VOD. If you want to see Vampire Chicken on Twitch, come and follow me. This is what you're going to see. Make sure you subscribe to this channel while you're here, and I hope you enjoy the Rivertown Rundown. Rundown? Run back. What did I call it? I don't know. Watch the video. And here we go. We are going to be doing something that is probably a little bit ridiculous, probably a little bit crazy, but what we are about to do is we are going to play Progressive Capitals on Rivertown, one of the smallest maps, the one you know and love. We got JJ in the, in the house. He likes Capitals, he likes Rivertown, but I don't know if he's ever put them together in this order. I have horrible, horrible cap locations, but these blizzards are really funny. This whole thing is a choke point. Oh, purple goes behind. But like, we could see double bridge caps. We could see pink go in here because it cap off this portion of the world. Wait, some weird wacky stuff. Yeah, green goes bridge. If you're unfamiliar with the, uh, the map itself, here are the bonuses. And you'll notice that there's one side of the board on the left, giant bridge in the middle, one side on the right, giant bridge in the middle. So the only way to get to the left is through the bridge, through green's cap. So whichever side I decide to go on, I will not have access to the other one. Oh, pink goes back here. That's genius. Purple's dead. All right, purple, you're dead. And I'm not going behind pink. So I have, I don't have a lot of options. You suggest top right? JJ, come on, bro. <laughs> don't do it to me, man. Don't be a bad influence. Don't, don't sandwich me between. I only have one choice. There's literally only one option. Okay. This is not the JJ bad, bad camp strategy going on. <laughs> it's, it's insta death if you go there. Hopefully red goes bridge. Come on, man. Go bridge. Go br Yes! Double bridge caps! Yes! <laughs> Let's go. All right, where does white want to put his cap? Probably next to me. Oh, dear. All right. Hey, white, can we get along? All right, let's see how purple decides to try to handle this first ever progressive cap game. He's going to go for this bonus. He skips a card. It's progressive. It's Capital Conquest, it's progressive. Come on, man, smash and hit this cap, dude. Oh, I go, if, ah. I, ju I just broke my headset. What the heck is he doing? What is he doing? What's that? What is he doing? <laughs> Why? What is his problem, bro? Look at Pink's position. Pink is the winner of this. JJ, what are the odds of a 13 on 7? Wait, but wait, but Purple's gonna take it. No, Purple is definitely gonna yoink, right? No, no, no. I, I go 4 on... I, yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Watch this. Watch this. So we attempt the yoink. Oh! D what? D hit him again so that purple has a way through. We win or we don't win, we don't even care. We don't even care, we're setting purple up to yoink. Okay, good enough. And then we take a card. Green is, let's 
let's actually eliminate green from here. I cannot, whatever, someone else can kill green, I really don't care. Okay, there we go. Don't help purple? No, help purple. Help purple. Let purple take this entire side and then get stuck behind pink over here. That's the, that's the game plan we're running with. <laughs> this is, this is to card block purple. That's the strategy. Use the troops, you will lose anyway. Yeah, okay. But I had to remove green, because green is psycho. Green, is he gonna make it through one turn? He's gonna die on turn one. I'm not sure if I've ever seen it. I don't think I've ever seen somebody die on turn one. But I think he's gonna die. Green, get him. Don't hit me, bro. Hit green, it's so funny. Zero cards. Kill green for zero cards. First turn death! <laughs> yes! He died before he ever took a card. Holy cow. You've died before even playing. It was on Simple World. Yeah, these small maps, it can happen. It can definitely happen. You've sent a, pay a PayPal as a gift. Yo, we're getting some, some PayPal donations. Oh, you've got money. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Much more than, than we actually paid for the map pack. Highly appreciate it. It was very generous. Card block yourself now, purple. Card block yourself. Go for it. Oh, but pink is going to need cards in the future if they get knocked out of here. Wait, this could be... Maybe there is a flaw in my plan. My idea was... That purple is going to go one, two, three, four, five. They get five more cards and they're stuck behind pink. But if this part of pink gets eliminated, then they're, they're not going to be able... <laughs> Pink's going to have to keep trading here with purple and they're going to have infinite cards and none of us will win. And then JJ was right. And I don't have the achievement. Oh, is there an achievement for dying before you, you do anything on your first turn? I, I do not. I have not yet died before before getting a, 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 a card. So maybe Green just wanted the achievement. Maybe he's, he's playing for something different that we're all not playing for. Ugh. So I guess I'm gonna just uh, close my cap here. I don't think I can really do much with this stuff over here. I think it's time to get a nice strong cap. This doesn't go into, the, oh, this does go into the one. Oh, perfect, cool. All right, oh, that, but that four is not connected. Ah, okay, that's fine. Cool, all right, so I was able to get a card back there. I would love to bless you with this utmost beautiful achievement. What? Red, you are a sick man. You're a sick man. What are you thinking? Why would you do it? Why would it? You had so much to live for. All he had to do was pink, keep pink alive on this side and then the purple would get card blocked at some point. You think purple's loving life? I think he, yeah. When he wipes all of this out and takes both of these caps on the next turn, he's gonna be the happiest guy ever. Is he strong enough to come up here, get the double cap bridge and eliminate all of this? And then we're gonna count on white to be a savior. It, uh, yeah, it's hilarious. It's really, really funny. But now white... Wait, but white goes first. So white... I mean, there's no reason to kill pink, but they could. But there is a reason to take a cap. Which hopefully means he leaves less next to me. Let's see if he takes it. He's gonna kill pink! Oh, he's keeping the 20 on cap. Okay, he's doing it this way. Oh, dear. Okay. So he's gonna have a, a lighter cap. At some point too, we need to remove this four. Wow. Newton, thank you so much for the sub. I highly appreciate it. Let's see how this plays out. So I think purple is gonna do everything on this turn. I think he's gonna eliminate all of this and no, okay. Takes out red for one card. <laughs> beautiful so he's just gonna he's gonna clear all this out now and he's gonna have this giant cap here and since he didn't take a card on turn one he's in the same turn order because he didn't take a card on move one 
So it's like it's he just got his one card back. So he's still in the first turn order. Good luck, Pink. He's saying good luck. Yeah, good luck, Pink. Victory. Purple thinks they won. Do you guys think Purple has already won this game? I'm about to get card blocked. <laughs> I wonder if I eliminate purple from here or not. Let me show my undying allegiance to the fight against purple, okay? That's that's my only contribution. Let's try that. Hopefully white doesn't roll me. He might, you never know. He probably doesn't win though. I know, white could card block me. That's why I left this as a six. So he's gonna eliminate pink. Holy smokes, this is getting insane. He's gonna put that here on the bridge. And pink is blocked. But purple goes first, and they probably just are about to eliminate pink. Purple could actually, I mean, there's, okay, uh, dear. Purple is strong enough. I mean, they don't have to eliminate pink, because pink is blocked. They could literally come here and leave basically everything off cap, because they're, they're just so strong. But they probably kill pink. They only lose 11. And now I think in White's mind, is White just setting up to try to kill me? Do you suppose? So I want White to be strong. I don't want to break White. I want to be really cool with White. I'm going to leave that there as a five. And hopefully White and I are cool. But White could be like, oh, purple one and just smash me and hope to get the second place out of this. But hopefully they also just put like a tremendous amount here. What is White gonna do? They have like a card. They can get an easy card. Yeah, oh, that's a big number. Oh, wait, we might have this. Wait, 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 but where are you getting a card? Oh, I didn't know that connected. Oh, thank God that connects. Oh, thank God that connects. <laughs> so I need white to be strong enough. He's trying to block me too. No, he's adding more to the cap. Let's go. White, let's go. Yes. And purple's gonna slam. Oh my God, he's got 51. It's now or never. He's not, if he's not doing it now, he's gonna lose. He's actually gonna lose. If he's not doing it now. Let's put those up there. I don't wanna put too many more on my cap because I don't wanna scare white. I want white to know that they can dedicate a lot to right here. I want them to know they can dedicate a lot to this. And then I want several, like I want to do a bunch of trade-ins where purple's not getting a card and then somehow I'll have to like betray white at some moment. But I guess it's already like, yeah, see, so he totally trusts me. What a fool. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Cap run. Is purple strong enough to cap run yet? Uh, let's, let's get these guys. I'm gonna hit this three. Here's a, just don't leave this three here, okay? Otherwise, we're cool. Look, I'm not, you know what? Let's put him back here. So he's getting, yes, so 17 per turn. It still matters quite a lot. So I can definitely take this white cap here if I decide to go for it. White is putting a lot of trust in me in order to be able to try to defeat purple, who, who does not seem like he wants to hit this 56. I'll put these guys on cap though. Now we'll see if white's scared. White is caught uh, in a bit of a, a tricky jam here, stuck between <clears throat> a rock and a purple place. 
So I think, yeah, this slam happening ever could result in me winning this game. <laughs> that's what we're, that's what we're counting on. Give it all up. Give your cap up. Wow. Wow. He gives the whole cap up. Imagine that. Imagine that. All right. Yoink. They call me Mr. Yoinks a lot. Get owned. Now we leave the 11 there. Yoink. That's for me. <laughs> you can't have either one back. Good luck. Now I can card block white, but I think I want to work with him because I also want cards. But I guess I could slowly... I actually can actually very easily card block white. I, I just... I can do it actually quite easily because white gets a card here. Then I take here and I leave a stack. What is white getting per turn? They're getting only seven. White is going to give up. Oh, no. White is going to bot here. Oh, no. I wasn't prepared for this. Everything is going right if white bots out. The bot's going to randomly fortify off. And purple goes before me. So if the stupid bot, like, randomly fortifies everything off, purple gets the easy cap. Oh, no. You think white is in the winning position? He's still here, theoretically. Let's see how purple plays this. So purple should just do nothing again. Erg. So I get a trade in. So he didn't get a card, but he's about to bot. So I should card block the future bot, maybe. I don't know. This might not work. This this might not work. This I, I think he's a bot. So I can still get cards for a little bit here. We're running with we're running the 10 strat. So when I need a card, I can't Oh, the bot also has a, probably a turded. So maybe I lose some tens. Wait, no, this actually might be very bad. If the bot doesn't have a turn in, then I think maybe we're in we're in good luck here. How do these things connect? So this does not connect to this one. So I can go here and I can full stack here. The turn-ins currently are for 15. So if white, white is disconnecting as we speak. I think, I think they're suffering the disconnect thing where like you, you spend an extra turn cause you're like, oh, come on, why can't I reconnect? And then you eventually give up. So I think we're gonna see white bot either on this turn or immediately after. And I can never, never, never hit this. But if the bot comes fully off this, purple can like maybe cap run. Nah, probably not, but we'll see. But it turns in for 15. Does it hit me or no? It doesn't, not yet. Okay, 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 okay. So I have to hit this 15. If you let what guys cards, They'll hit purple when the cards are high enough. Oh, that's actually a pretty devilish strategy. So let the bot get cards under the assumption that this number will become so high. Do you think? I don't even have to do that yet though. Well played. Thanks. Eight enough? Okay, I'm gonna give the bot a card. Okay, so I'm gonna give the bot a card. I think it's gonna be a bot. No, it's not a bot yet. If it's simply not a bot, then I, I don't have to do anything. Cards won't matter. He'll hit it when he has to. The bot will keep stacking next to him. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work out. But if white is not even botting, he's still trying to connect. White, wait, what happens if white never takes a card here? Because I'm gonna take one more and get five cards and then turn in. 
But then I only have one more card that opens up the white cap to me. I'm only going to take one more card. And then we're going to have a situation where everybody is no carding. What the heck? How's it going, learner? Welcome back. You will open white. White will attack off. Only if he actually bots. What if he never bots? What if he simply no cards? He's offline. Okay, he's a bot now. All right, so next turn, the bot will get a card, which is great. Cool. Okay, now, now we're fine. Now everything's good. Now we let the bot get a card on this next turn. Eric mentioned, oh no, my queen. And collinear move. That's very nice of him. That must be in one of his recap videos. It's very nice of him. So now we take this out and we give the bot a, a card. Cool. And then we move this all the way back. Cap is getting stronger. Oh, it was on a live stream. Ah, oh, very nice of him. I didn't know that he had actually streamed since I was on his channel. I thought I was the most recent person to stream on the I Am Rosen channel. But good to know Eric is back. I have five cards. The bot can now get a card. And as long as they don't fully fortify off. Oh, he is live. Ah! Hi, Eric. Hello. Hello. Was very fun streaming on your channel. Now I'm playing Risk. Now, as long as this 84 doesn't magically telewarp off, and it doesn't, it's glued to this stack, I can trade with the bot. At some point, this bot will hopefully hit this guy. It's, it's a genius plan. We have an unlosable position. Hit it! Hit it! Oh my gosh, what a good, what a good roll. He takes out white for two. And now we have just one opponent, and he's basically card blocked. But does he get a trade in from this? But wait, but I need to set up bigger numbers to card block a dude like this. Oh, cool. I don't understand that move, so I like it. Oh, wait, but I got a trade in. I'm so good. Wait, because what does purple get? Like, absolute insane numbers, yeah? I mean, like, even this is probably literally not enough. Like, I actually don't think I'm going to be able to do this on a turn. I literally don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not prepared to do it yet. And he also has four cards. Cards currently are worth 30. But let's see, he's going to like over hit and then hopefully get himself card blocked. He's going to he's going to hit everything he can because that's what he was doing before. That's what got him into the trouble in the first place. No, he's a genius. He's going to card block me. Okay. Wait, he's actually good enough to card block me? Well, then I'm dead. All right. Well, he actually is maybe crazy strong. He's going to win this. He's going to force me to hit this, like, 42 at some moment. Oh no, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Hit me again. Hit me. Go for it. I only get 11. I might have to turn in here. You believe in me? I don't know about this one. Oh, well now it's personal, bro. What the heck? All right, we'll try this on for size. First, we hit you here. We leave exactly this here, and then let me hit you with one of these. Huh? Punk? Ha! Wait, it failed. Wait for it. Get zeroed out, you noob. Ha! Ha! What am I at, 41? 12%? Take one of those. How did that feel? Uh, you know what? Go ahead. Hit this eight, bro. Let's go. He's getting so many troops. I know. It's too, it's simply too much. Come break me, you noob. Break me. I wish you would. Yes, yes. Beautiful. All right. Well, now for my next trick. He's got probably a trade in. Oh, dear. He's going to yoink this cap, but whatever. You can have that one. I don't really care about it that much. 
I can't defend all of this. <laughs> He's too strong. He's too strong. I can't do it. He's gonna yoink the cap. Oh, and he's got to turn in. Can he? He can't hit both of them though. Hit the forty-one. Dang it! And he's got so many cards. And now he's got a big cap behind me. Oh, I probably have to use this. Well, he doesn't have a turn in on this turn. All right. Well, he doesn't have a turn in here, but he has cards that he can get. Okay. Let's, we'll try we'll try that one. He's got to break me because he hates that I have bonuses. Oh, he gets 25. Do you think he can win? He's hit my cap. No, I have a bonus, so he has to break it. This is too hard. This guy's too strong. He's going to put it on the 32. And then I... He might have a trade-in. So I think I have to trade in here because he might have a trade-in. And we really got to get this cap buff, though. This other stuff doesn't really matter. I, and I can't card block him. I, we're going big cap strats here. We're, we're saving this three. We're going big cap strats. This map looks so funny. It is. Except when you're in my position. Then it's not as funny. Hit my cap. Do it. Go for the win. He could... He could almost card block. If he put some here and he eliminated all of this, I would probably be card blocked. <laughs> I guess I, would, I could always hit here, but he wants me to hit here and open up his cap. All right. Well. <sighs> I can't do it. Hopefully that broke his soul. Take one territory per turn. I know, but he likes, he's gonna take it all back. Trust me. I just hurt his soul. He's gotta take it all back. It's the way he's been playing. Like I'm, I'm about to be just blocked though. He's setting up the block here. Oh, he did it this way. He has done it. He's set up the block. He doesn't need to know about that. Is he going to win? He doesn't have a trade in. All right. All right. One per turn. One per turn. Okay. We got a secret trade in he doesn't even know about. Uh, uh, he can He can risk it. He can go for it here. He's not gonna. He could have gone for the win. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. So we, now. Oh, what a fool. What a fool. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. All right. He's going to hit me. full. Come on. Full strength. He, he can easily block me here. He's got to block me here. I got to be dead now. I got to be dead now. And he had a turn in. Oh, no. The only thing that can save me is if he goes for the cap and fails. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think there's any way. I think we're dead here. This is like he, there. Just stop there and then maybe put a little bit more on here. Is 10 enough? I can't get through a 10. No, he's got me. He's got me. He got me. I died. I died. I died. Slow roll what? The 10? Well played. I, and I'm getting taunted the whole time. I, it's just... Uh, it, didn't, it didn't go through. It literally... It didn't... Maybe they're impatient. Maybe they're impatient. Maybe they go for it on this turn. Maybe I get, I get the god dice. It, I hate this. This is the wrong settings. Come on! Come on! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> but I still can't really do much. I still can't even do anything. Oh no. Cap run? No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. Cap run? Come on, baby. Nope. Watch this. Come on. Nope. 
What? How do you like my cap run chances? I'm gonna put them at minimal? I'm gonna put them at minimal. You have to cap run? Bro? It's not... No, it's... It's not, it's not happening. It's not, it's, it's simply not happening. It's simply not happening. <laughs> it's dead. He gets 20. I know I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way. There was no way. There was simply no way. Here, but he's going to try it again. All right. He wins. Oh, <laughs> well, that is Rivertown caps. Everybody, that's the way she goes. I'm not sure what I could have done. I'm not sure what I could have done. He is. It was a novice. It was the all new blobby. Oh, come on, man. What the heck? Should we run it back? You guys want to run it back? Wait, I'm not done with this. Do not join my lobby. Do not. Do not find me and join. Okay. With true random, there's always a way. Yeah, no, but we're not we're not that level of, of psycho. We, I wanna I think I could do this. Cause that was pretty wild. That was one of the wildest games we've played recently. I just need to get a bridge cap. We just have to keep playing until I get like a bridge cap. <laughs> But yeah, we got it. We got to run. Well, so we have this map pack. So what else is in here? Is Castle a cool map? What are the? So I just got it. Every time I get a map pack, I'm like, all right, I got to make like four videos. We got like four new maps. Castle seems interesting. It's all right. But I guess I would usually play like fixed. It's like a small map. I like small fixed maps because they usually crazy stuff happens. You want to see a true random psycho lobby, huh? <laughs> What else is in the pack? What else is good? Or is it just this? Is the only reason it's the best map pack? Because it has the best map, according to JJ. Rivertown is the map that keeps on giving. All right, we've unlocked the infinite content glitch, and it's called Rivertown. Castle Forfixed is great. I, when I do it, I need maps that are really small and fixed. More players than you can imagine, blizzards on. I honestly love Iceland Fixed. Because it's got like four bonuses, but they're unrealistic and everybody fights for them and dies like noobs. And then you just keep one big stack and you get to do like mega kills and you feel like a genius. Rivertown, there's a lot of... We normally like when I'm doing this crazy Rivertown stuff, it's usually <clears throat> like I've gotten to about 30k. You know, I get GM and then I get a solid like I get up to like 30k and then I just do like stupid settings. Here, I've lost my GM, and I'm still here doing all the stupid stuff. How's it going, Shadow is here? Hello, hello, hello. But if you haven't seen JJ's tournament, he does have a tournament on this map that I couldn't play in because he, he decided to do it on my, my son's birthday. Oh, the audacity of him. Hey, are you guys ready? To do something crazy, if you're watching this on YouTube, we just did this and we saw these are some of the craziest settings that I think I've ever played. This is progressive on Rivertown. We're doing progressive cards, Rivertown, Capital Conquest. And we just saw a game where somebody died on the very first turn, didn't even get a card. We saw people going psycho and we got the bridge cap. Let's go. Bridge cap for the win. <laughs> and this is going to be absolutely wild. But if you've just joined and you're not sure how these bonuses work, there's this bridge separating the left half of the map and the right half. And what that means is everybody, all the confluence is right here in this bridge. I'm going to be the first bridge player that gets to make a move. It goes red, white, me. And so coming up with a really good cap can be a problem. This is where, this is a cap that I had in our game. Where did white go? Oh, white! Oh, buddy. No, no, pink's gonna go here. Oh, no, but I, I, I have to go here. But pink is gonna go here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, 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 no. What do I do? Pink is gonna kill me. 
I'm dead. He's obviously going to take there. He's not going to take one of the other stupid ones. He's obviously going to go there. Do I go behind red? On the seven? What do I do? <laughs> I don't care. Smush me in the middle. I'm not dead. Uh, put me on the bridge. Put me on the bridge. Pink's going to murder me here. It's going to be horrible. We're dead. Oh, dear. This is going to be delightfully bad. There's a great chance of me just dying immediately. Because Pink is going to cap here and I'm going to be sandwiched in. I think this was maybe the safe play, but come on, man. Nobody wants to see it. My cap will not be open. Well, technically it will. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. And now Pink, here it comes. They're thinking. They could, they could avoid it. They could avoid it. Stay off my bridge. Stay on this side of the board where you're also kind of not that great of shape. <gasps> They're saved. Saved. What? They didn't kill me. I get to play the game. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, my seven. I get to play the game. Pink, what the heck? Wait, so this is a blizzard, right? So they're actually trapped behind white, which is optimal for me. White grabs this bonus behind. What a crazy, crazy guy. How do I get a card? <laughs> Seven on five. How do I get a card? I guess, oh, do I hit this five and take the bridge and then lose access to everything? I don't want to. We might run the card skip gambit here. I think I have to, like, skip almost. Because I want a big cap. What is it to beat a four? Is it eight or nine? Eight is, like, 99%, right? 99%. What? Come on! Are you serious? Chance that I didn't win that. What? One in a hundred, dude. All right, get owned, white. Purple does not want you back there. <laughs> yeah, someone called me lucky. Only lucky people have things that can occur one in a hundred happen to them. You just received the lose an 8v4 BB roll? Yeah, that's uh, what an award. I'm very happy on behalf of myself to receive this award. So at some point, we eliminate pink from behind us. But I don't think that I even want to take the bridge. I can get an extra two, but that's not the point of the bridge. I'm going to stay open as long as I can, but ultimately at some point I'm going to... I'm going to get blocked because there's all these caps behind me. All right, red goes for the bonus. White eliminates me from here because they're trying to kill me. Okay. Oh, God, this is so painful. Oh, uh, well, so I know I get my card. Could I get blocked on the next turn? Do you think there's any shot? Do you think there's any shot that I get blocked and I this is the end of my game? I'm going to leave a three. Surely that will deter any evildoers from doing things. Yeah, it's really not easy to lose an 8v4, but it, it is. It, I've demonstrated the theoretical possibility. All right, well done to purple for just smashing white a bunch. What is green doing? Is green a bot? That, what a weird move for a human. Adds into here and takes a card. They want to be infinite card buddies with pink? What is going on here? But pink says no and, it, and decides to eliminate purple from here or no? I'm not sure. Pink is going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. Everyone's going to be in trouble here. JJ's never lost an 8v4. <laughs> it's just so rare. And his, and his 30 million hours of playing the game, it's just literally never happened. They said it couldn't be done, but I've, I've proven the mathematicians wrong. Oh, you've done it one time. In 3,000 hours. Yeah, it's, it's not likely to happen. But I've been defying the odds since, I don't know, the existence of time. 
Pink, remember me, okay, Pink? Remember me? And how nice I was to you for not eliminating you from that side of the board. Remember me. Remember how purple messed you over and remember me for being nice, okay? So we are all like almost card blocked back here. We need to work together. Team left siders, let's unite. Team left siders, we can do this. If we all work together and share cards, none of us will have to suffer until pink dies. But if we fight amongst ourselves, we're all dead. And so what does white want? So white would also get almost... No, white and pink trade here forever. No, actually, no, the right siders are going to win. Team right side is going to win this. Because white and pink are going to need to trade back here forever. And so they will because at a necessity. I'm going to keep trading here with red. I think we got a good, a good enough thing going on. But So white, you should just trade with pink indefinitely. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, right siders have it made. Here you go, sir. I would like to open your cap for you. You're very welcome. It's so easy to card. It's easy to card block literally anybody. You, name a person you couldn't card block. <laughs> Who could we not card block on this map? It's uh, anybody could like card block anybody almost. Who is least likely to get card blocked? Maybe red? I don't know, man. Don't leave it there, dummy. Get out, get out the way. You fool. I thought he was going to try to get me. I thought he was going to try to get me. That's true. It'll be a while before white gets blocked. I think white and pink honestly have it the best. He, I think I've, I think I've uncovered the strategy here. You let somebody else take the bridge, and then you go on the side with only one other player. Then you win. So maybe pink, maybe is a genius. So pink could have blocked me, but they're like a super GM, because they could have sandwiched me and just ended me. But by going on the side with only one other player, when all of this other garbage gets eliminated, they are out of necessity going to need to trade with each other. Pink's in the worst position. If white ever card blocks pink, right? Like takes all of this out and then sits on cap, white also doesn't get cards. So, so I actually don't think that that's true. Because white will also need to get cards and therefore they need pink. There are no more cards to draw. I do, don't get in. What was that? Wait, what did that just say? There was no more cards to draw? I get what? What did I just get? Give me a wild card. There was no more cards in the deck, dude. There, we ran out, there's, there's not enough territories on this stupid map. I had to get a, we had to open up a second pack. We're on the second pack of cards. What the heck? We're at the, the casino and we just played through an entire hand of cards. There's not enough territories. That's insane. I've never seen that. <laughs> Where'd the cards go? Everybody has like four or five cards and there's not enough territories. <laughs> All right. Who's going to get card blocked first? Please tell me it's not blue, although like it, it could almost easily be me. Yeah, I've never seen, I didn't know that was possible either. The cards thing. Okay. White takes and he wants to hold this bonus. He wants the East Roads for two. Why did he put it here? All right, weird fortify. So whenever territory account is less than 30, it's possible to just not have enough cards. It's pretty wild. All right, I, sh I have to like pay attention just to make sure nobody's doing anything evil and untoward to me. But these two like have to trade back here. Purple needs cards here. 
If somebody took here, purple would be blocked. That person could be me. If I actually went pop, pop, and then I went here, couldn't red, green, and I all trade here, and then purple is owned? I could test this. Cause so if I go pop, pop, and then I fortify here, we can block purple. I don't know if this actually helps me, but I think purple is in the worst spot here. Although green is maybe gonna bot out. That would, that would open up some doors. So my worst fear, I guess though, is actually that one other player gets all the rest of this. I need like another cap for survivability. Cause if one player gets all of this behind me, wait, no, if it's just one player, then they're gonna need cards too. Unless they want to mutually card block. Imagine red had all of these caps and then decided not to give me any cards. And then he's like, haha, white's gonna catch up. And when they do, they're gonna blast through you before getting to me. Some weird stuff could happen. Hit that 10, start a war. Uh, whatever white wants, pink says no to. There's no bonuses allowed for white, but they are peacefully trading cards. Okay. So I'm gonna get the 10 trade, right? No, the, I get the 12 trade. Did someone turn in early? Green did. Green turned in early. Wow, so white eliminates this. Where is white gonna get their next card? The seven? So you and pink are gonna trade in here. That's what you're telling me? Huh, it's kind of wild. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything nuts over here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take my card here. Do a little nine, eight, whatever, that's pretty good. White has been wanting this for a while. Why would you want this if you were white? Because you get the double bonus? Why did why has white achieved something? I think white has made a tremendous error. I do not understand why white wants this. I feel like this is a tremendous mistake. I feel like you and pink were like gonna win the game. In the early game, it really matters. As demonstrated by our other game where somebody took half the board in like the first turn or two. Is green a bot? Okay, this is a bit of a nightmare. Well, this is a bit of a nightmare. My bridge, my bridge. Yeah, get out of my bridge. They still win if they keep trading. So he makes pink hit a 15 to get a card. Pink turns in, but watch, they're gonna eliminate green because I don't know, they're weird. Yeah, eliminate green, I can take the kill. This white goes before me. White's gonna eliminate this. I get to kill green and I get a new cap. Uh, well, what was I saying? Uh, what I meant was I do get the kill though. For 25, I guess it's worth it. Uh, well, this is, ah, oh, dear. I don't think it's about the bridge. I like, the bridge kind of stinks. Do you think white is going to card block pink for one turn? Wouldn't that be funny if he left like a 10 for like one turn and then on the second turn he gives pink a card because he has to? Okay. And we kill purple. We're not that strong yet. Okay. Trying to figure out where red and purple are gonna be getting their cards next. We know where purple's gonna get a card. Hit red's cap, come on. Uh oh, where are you going? From behind the back, breaks all the bonuses. I don't, I... 
What are you trying to accomplish here? All right, you showed red. Cool, so those guys hate each other. That works for me. Pink bot. No, that's a human move. All right. So white, though, can... For a turn, every turn, they, they can block pink for a turn and not let them get a card and then give them a card on the next turn. How does red respond to purple's inappropriate behavior? Just, just hit, to, okay. He's keeping the caps nice and strong. There's three of us and we all need cards back here. Okay, so white and pink are gonna keep trading cards. I do have a turn in, but come on. Uh, so my card is here to be blocked. Purple maybe, is purple actually geniusly trying to trade with red and then I get like owned? Could that be it? I'm gonna leave this all out. I'm leaving it out. Let's see how that plays out. So if red wants, they can eliminate this and we can trade and we can own purple. Even though I don't, and then if Red and I are the only two here, we need each other. And out of necessity, we'll get along. He only blocks one time, then never again. Oh, that's true. Unless pink overextends. You're talking about white. Yeah. That's true. If white blocks pink once and then takes a card. Yeah, it could really only happen once. But then pink could do the same thing to white. It could be a never-ending <laughs> thing that happens. But those two need each other, so they're fine. So what happens in a world where me and one person need each other and these two need each other and I'm just stuck in the bridge? We stalemate, right? We just absolutely stalemate? How's it going, Stroopy? I feel like this maybe is, if you ever have a bridge cap, the game can easily stalemate. I don't know how this would ever actually progress. And in fact, I don't want to eliminate both. I actually don't want to eliminate both players on this side. If I eliminate both, then I'm stuck behind white and white wins. You're in a winning position, but that can change quickly. I, I, I do not understand how this is winning. I actually think I'm in like a losing position. <laughs> Unless I eliminate this, the right side of the board and hold everything behind and I can get cards back here. So we can eliminate purple. Purple does not have a trade, but purple is now blocked. You need to remove one player from each side of the board or let them remove one. Yeah, but like, how am I ever gonna remove white if they're just trading forever? It's never gonna happen. I'm never gonna be strong enough to hit this cap. We can remove purple from here. I don't even really want that stupid cap though. I might let the other dude have it. Thirty-five. I think that's the right number. How's it going, Zenpooled? What did Red say? He probably said, hey, well played. Good job crushing purple. So now purple cannot get cards. So at some point, we'll be able to remove purple from this side. I can never remove both players from the left side or I'm card blocked against white. I always need one player here. Always. So red, I need you to live forever. I will not kill you even if I have the option. Even if you're down to one troop on an empty cap, I will not kill you. Purple is sad. Understandably. Uh-oh, it's a big number! But I don't see how I theoretically win this. If white and pink get along, which might not be the case, 
white and pink, you know, killing each other. I understand how that plays out well in my favor. You know what? I'm actually a little bit concerned about what white is cooking up over here. Let's 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 make that a solid 99 cap. I understand how to win if, you know, bad things happen. Once purple is gone, this game is a stalemate. That's ex exactly my my point exactly. I believe that purple would like me to move this this 29 stack. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Pink does not take a card. White is card blocked. Ah! Pink says fine. You don't get cards either, which is genius cuz one day I'll be able to take this white cap. And then I can trade infinitely with pink. X in hub. How's it going? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's figure this out. I'm gonna turn in. I'm just, you, you can call me a coward. Feel free to call me a coward on this one. I'm just a little bit worried about white not having a card and deciding that they're gonna go full evil mode on me. So I'm turning in early. Thank you so much, Cartax. But he's got three cards. If he was saving it, he wasn't using it because he expected to get up to five cards. You know, like White could have a trade in, but he didn't use it because he was like, I'm just waiting for a bigger turn in. But he's got three cards. So I'm just, I'm turning in early. It's silly. I know. Insult me everywhere <laughs> on Twitch, in YouTube comments. Leave your hate comments below. Don't do it, Pink. Chill out. This is amazing, Pink. And if I ever take this cap, I get to, I would be able to pick. I mean, probably I could kill White when I did it. But I could like, I could leave pink in here, trade forever, and then defeat whoever's on this side because I have this person card blocked already. It could be me giving pink second in the ideal world. I can, I can see this going quite well. Cool. So now they come off. And then hopefully when they come off and red has five cards, red can have this. Red can have this cap. I don't care about it. Ah, okay. This is probably correct. This is well done. Well done. Don't do it. No. Oh, it's a bot. No, it's not a bot. Ah, no. Pink. I had big plans for us. Let's see if red helps. If red wants to eliminate purple from here. Does red want to, to help eliminate purple? Wait, what are they doing? Uh, do they kill purple? No. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Red doesn't eliminate purple. Here's a, here's a funny play. They call me Mr. Funny Man. That's my play. <laughs> I want red to take out purple. So I think red, maybe if purple has three cards, red will take them out. I don't think that that's gonna matter too much. We'll see, we'll see if it matters though. It's not like purple can ever really card block me. Maybe they could. Purple's dreaming of card blocking me and trading right here with red. It could happen. I should be careful. Maybe pink will skip every other turn. I can't figure out the madness of pink's play. Take him out, take the cap. Take, eliminate him, get him! Wonderful. So red eliminates purple. Now they need me. We're in the same situation as white and pink. They need me to keep getting cards. They need me. They have no, they have no chance without me. I would prefer not to open your cap, to be entirely honest. And if you get mad because I took your bonus and then you deny me cards or something, then you know what? That's the world we live in, I guess. But this is where I would personally prefer to get cards. 
somewhere safe and in the back. Yeah, these guys, I don't know why. I think Pink, Pink demonstrated the threat of not giving him cards. Maybe they were just hoping if I don't give him cards, White will hit Blue. And maybe they were just testing it just to see if... Because, you know, if White was going to hit me to try to get a card, then they were a genius. But that's why I turned in in that situation. These settings... Wait, the first game was so crazy. And this game is so lame. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see what Red does. Is he comfortable trading back here? Why is he adding to this cap? I, I could care less about it. Why does he add to this cap? I don't know. If you want to trade here, that's fine with me. Okay. Cool. I'll go hit him, hit him. I think they were saying, hey, please give me a card back here. A sensible enough request in my mind. Oh, I should have gotten a card right here, but I, you know what? I think it's fine. And now we've still made it the game. I can never eliminate red or I die. And I cannot eliminate white due to the sheer strength of it. This, wait, this is why JJ likes this, because the games never end. And now we, now this is, it's, we've now officially entered into the JJ stream. This will be 12 hours of this until somebody loses patience. What a, what a setting. You really like this pink player. I liked when they were card blocking white to maybe, the game can progress if, if pink card blocks white. And Pink probably gets second in that situation. It's Cliff Bar time, not sponsored. How many units would you guys have on this cap? If, if it were me, it would be less than 125. You missed most of the stream. No, this game is probably gonna be most of the stream. This one's not gonna end, ever. JJ gave me some bad advice. He said, bro, this is the greatest map pack of all existence. Because he doesn't mind. He's going to be streaming for 12 hours anyway. I should play more Euro advance caps. What, you don't like Rivertown where I'm on the bridge and like we literally are stalemated? You don't like the, the Rivertown stalemate strat? Why is there a nine here though? Oh, the friction. Rivertown is better. Uh-oh. Cool. So this is like actually how to potentially progress things. We're relying on pink blocking white. I need to, I'll make a novice to Grandmaster to prove you wrong. You'll do these settings? Tell me the settings, JJ. Explain to me how you could go novice to Grandmaster with, I mean, you could do this cause you can just Oh no! Oh no! It's about to change! I'm a, uh, this is the easiest settings! These are the greatest settings of all time! I win card block red after pink slams white and I kill them both. Holy cow! Wait, don't leave it there! What are you doing, pink? What are you doing? You didn't have to give up your life! You have five cards! White is gonna kill pink. Get the trade in. And then white's gonna be card blocked and red and I are gonna win, but I'm gonna be in the middle and at some point white is gonna hit me and then red is gonna win! No! Unless... I card block red and nobody gets cards. Pink wants to end it. Well then just don't take cards! <laughs> Horrible. He barely loses anything. What the heck? This is good for me. This is good for red. Cause now at some point white is gonna hit me. And like, it's not gonna make sense. No. What are you talking about? Do you know how to play these crazy settings, dude? Okay. 
You're safe. Actually, I go after white. So when I don't, I when I don't have a trade in, white hits me on this next turn. I don't have a trade in. This is true. Red does have a trade in. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> actually, he doesn't really have any caps open to me, but I, you know, actually, maybe I'm safe. Wait, maybe I'm winning. Just trade with red until you can hit red without him pulling off cap to hit you. See, then my nightmare, my nightmare. I don't, this is, I knew this was gonna happen. Ah, but he doesn't do enough. I don't have a turn in. I, I could have used my six. I could have had more troops. All right, let's go here. All right, let's, let's go. Red should card block you to win. Oh, maybe. Well, well, yeah, actually red card blocking me. We know white is impatient. You're right. You're actually like insanely potentially right. And then for me to get a card, I'd probably have to open up the red cap. He's got four cards. So here's another thing. Even if I can steal this white cap on the next turn, he's got four cards. You know what he's doing? Oh, I really want to trade in because I'm a coward. All right, we can open up this camp this way. Whatever. We're, we're, we're full on putting everybody here. He's a genius. He's save, he's got a trade in. I can feel it. He's gonna turn in for 115 and he's gonna hit me again. But don't, but I'm worried about red because he's got this cap really under control. I'm never stealing this cap. It's really scary. You can kill white for four, but is that what I want to do? Because I, what I would love to do, all right, see ya, JJ, is keep taking cards off of white and keep them card blocked forever and then use that to card block rad. I'll be turning in. You know what? I can't wait to get these bonus troops. What do I need, a little century mega dude? Okay. I can take the white cap now, honestly. I can honestly take this white cap. I don't though. But I can. So at any moment now, I can take this white cap. I don't know how I'll survive without JJ's important advice here, but we're on the verge of stuff happening. So red turns in. I got like 30 cards after I take the white cap. Yeah. So if I if I can take this white cap and white doesn't have a trade in, I can get a card here, then here, then here, then here. I get infinite cards and then red gets blocked and I win. If white is hiding a, a turn in, it'll be kind of funny. <laughs> it'll be real funny if white is, is secretly hiding a, a turn in that we don't know about. He's got his four cards. Cause he could just be waiting until the trade in gets much higher. Cause he knows if he turns in, then he'll never be able to get cards again. And if he turns in now, oh, he's about to bot out, which is fine. But I at some moment take white. I could lose almost all my troops going for it now though. I think if they bot out, I wait like, I have to wait like a trade in or two. If played perfectly, I should win this, you think, huh? Well, let's get it done then. But red also has the option of card blocking me at some point, which is the funniest. So I think white is gonna bot out. White is offline. So we're actually gonna know if they have a trade in or not. But if I do 400 on like 200, If I do 400 and 200, I could I could lose almost everything, right? I would simply avoid strategic errors. Yeah, that that'll be my advice. Oh, okay, now I'll take the cap. Why is he doing this? His only other card is here now. Wait, why did Red do that? <gasps> he just took three cards away from himself. He's tempting me to go after white. Ooh. 
You're playing in a classical tournament right now, and a 2100 on the board unironically played a Stafford Gambit. Holy cow. <laughs> Do I hit this? What are my odds? Do I turn in and hit it? Red his cards. Let's turn in and hit it. And this is going to be hopefully a winning play. Uh... Look at that. And now we don't give we don't give white any cards. So red has one more card, but he's going to have to put like a 210 here now. I have the option to take white out though. So he's going to go here, and then if he puts a huge number here, <clears throat> I can eliminate white, but I, uh, I really don't want to. But I'm going to have to. I have to eliminate white now. Red wins easy. So I needed to trade with red more, you suppose? I have to take white the white kill now to get enough to survive this. Why does red win easy? What happens now, though? I he, I got half the board and he's got half the board. How does this end? How does it end? Why would this game ever end? These are literally the dumbest settings of all time. He hits you and he loses. Okay, but what if he doesn't? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Think he's gonna hit me? Here it comes. Prage, Prage in the chat. Can I get a little Prage? How you want to do it? How do you want to do it? What did he get? He lost 101 and he took off 43. And he lets me get a card. So if I take a card, then he brings everything back out. Then I run away. Then he takes another card. I don't want that. I don't, I don't take any cards. I pass. Okay, I pass. If I take a card, no, he might get three and he could get a turn in before me, which actually would be scary. I do not take a card. I sit here all day long until he hits me. He's ahead of me in cards. So if I take a card, no matter how much I leave here, he can bring everything back out. So, and he could get a turn in before me because he's going to get three and I would only have two cards. So this game is a draw. All right. I missed when he took out white. Did I have to? I believe so. He had 400 something here and I had 100 on cap. So I think I had to kill white. I mean, I could have risked like 400 on just less than 200. But he had like, we just had, he had an insane amount right here. Okay, he's going to spread it around to, to confuse me. 
500 on 700 is like a 30% roll if it's not on his cap. So if he puts it here, you're advising that I roll it. I think that's... 30% is bad. I would say 50%, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll roll a dice to not play here forever. Oh, oh no! I was about to go for that cap. Shoot. But now he's got it. If he splits enough, you can take a card. Because it'll take him some time to come back. Alright, let's see. So is he going to split? He's defending these caps. I don't know why. Because I, I guess I could massively change the situation by running out and taking one. But then if he gets the bridge cap, like, he's got infinite cards sitting behind him. 609. Rivertown is crazy. Yeah, this is wild stuff. Whoa, what will happen next? Take a card. So if I take a card, he can put 710 right next to me. Okay. Wait for him to make a move. I have to, I, I think there's no other option. I think we literally wait for him, but the opportunity for him is also kind of past. Mac the off-cap troops. Destroy this, you, you would advise? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Not even a single one. Not even a single one. I chill. And there's literally nothing I can do. I, like, I don't think using attacker's advantage, it doesn't help. Because I'm not getting cards to, like, regenerate. So if I did all of this, and I lost, all, you know, and I, I end up with, like, 100 here or less, like, he's just going to bring stuff out. 69, 4. I missed you murdering white. Yeah, red put the, enough pressure on me that I had to kill white. I didn't want to. I wanted to use white as just like food for back here and infinite cards and then I'd win. This is where you skip until 2k. What happens at 2k? One of us resigns. Do we threaten him? Do we make him think that we're gonna do it? But we're not, we're bluffing. It's a complete bluff. But maybe maybe he'll maybe he'll do, he'll go for it. <laughs> he wants me to. Yeah, of course he does. Of course he wants me to hit it. We're both getting exactly 17. 2 2 4 3 3 2. Look at that. Whew. I feel like JJ right now. This is what JJ does for a living. I don't know how he does it, but this is his life. This guy must be strong. He moves really fast. Problem is, I don't think this would be a thrilling YouTube video. Do you think people would watch this? This thriller? <laughs> is he catching up on me? I feel like his number is getting bigger than mine somehow, but I don't know how that's possible. Six hour time lapse. So balance splits at higher troop levels. You can get ridiculously positive rolls in the thousands. So when he gets 2,000 and I have 2,000? Oh, I could attacker's advantage him so hard. And I could come out 800 troops on top of him. I see. Okay, so we're, we're super winning. So the real play for him then is to keep all of this on this cap. You can have your 100s if you want, whatever. But you just put it, like literally he should just be on this cap. He should not be attempting this. I see. I've never gone this deep into a caps game to know this, <laughs> this useful piece of knowledge. That's incredible. This is some top GM tips we're getting here today. I would never be able to progress this game. He still loses? 
he puts all of this on cap. How does he lose? We both have, he's got 2,000 here, I got 2,000 here. How does he lose? It doesn't make sense. I get one card for free, he stays on cap. If I ever take this card, I'm opening up his thing. How does he lose if we both have 2,000? Is he catching up on me? How is this even possible? My cap is better positioned? Why? Like, if all of this is on this cap, I don't think I can ever win. So what would the ridiculous roll? I could, we could roll this guy at some point for some, some god luck. Okay, but we're not there yet. So at 17 per turn, is somebody help me out with the... Okay. 2,000 minus 983 at 17 per turn is about 60 turns at a rate of one turn per minute. In an hour, we're about to do something. Cool. All right. We're about an hour away from completely turning this game upside down. I don't even want to see the look on this dude's face an hour from now when I, when I hit him so hard, dude. It goes quick if you focus. Do you advise in this strategy? How is he catching me up to me? Do you advise going quickly here? Or do you advise stalling for 60 seconds? I at least, I have something this guy doesn't have though. A chat to talk to. Oh, I have a chat to talk to. He's bored out of his gourd. Unless he has like a... He could... Unless he has Twitch, then he could be doing anything. He could be watching Vampire Chicken. In which case, the moment where I'm like, Guys, the next turn. That's where I hit him. That's the turn that he like slips away. He could be playing chess on the side. He's probably playing 90 degrees right now. He's like, yo, I'm playing a Stafford Gambit against some dude in chess right now. This could, it could also be one of you. <laughs> I don't know if Eric Rosen has ever considered playing Risk, but if you had to show him one position, let it be this one. Hey, Eric, how, would you like to do this? You know how you like stalemates so much? Let me introduce you to Rivertown. Here's the secret. You pick a cap in the middle, okay? This is called the bridge. All you need to know is you pick one of these, and then you get one person stuck on the other side of you, and you eliminate everybody else. You think that I could get a approximately a 200 positive roll, theoretically. Like, I hit here, and then I end up with 200. But then he's going to start pulling these hundreds in, so it's just simply not enough. So the right amount is 2k. At 2k, will I end up with approximately 400? Is that the reason why? Do you not smack that with a good roll? You have a cap advantage. I think that I do, but I apparently wait for 2,000 troops. That's where, that's where the expert on the subject has told me to do it. It's also his favorite map. I gotta be honest, though, the first game was a lot better than this. In terms of enjoyment. You can turn Fortify off. I like it. I like to do it myself. We'll do it for one turn. End game phase confirmation. Let's see how it feels. It's too risky. It's too risky. We could slip up. It's too risky. Can't do it. We gotta hit more buttons. You're committed to winning? Yeah, of course. Why would I give up? I'm, I'm in the winning position in theory. The other guy should give up. Or he should, you know, go back on cap. And then it is a draw. 
Yeah, it's like auto queen. Well, because then you know I'm gonna forget to turn it off, and in my next game I'm gonna just get messed up. It's just, it's all right. It's just it, you hit enter twice. My hand's already on the keyboard. It's fine. I'm in the I'm in the momentum here. Hit and stay there for a free card. No. Because then he gets a card. If I hit him and he gets a card and he has a trade in on three, then I just got owned. How is anybody supposed to win this? We've been discussing. I get this to 2,000. He gets this to 2,000. And then we hit him. <laughs> Does it have a bigger bonus? No, I'm getting 17. He's getting 17. So look, I got 17. He gets 17. He's laughing now. Okay, that means he's cracking. When you hit him, slider down 200 under his stack count for the best possible dice. So even if it's not a... Well, it will be 100%. Okay, you slider down 200 under his stack count. Not necessarily 100%. Wait, why, what? Wait, what is this hack? It's 100%, but you make sure it's 200 under. Why does it work like that? I have no idea. I just trust the pro. This is the reason I refuse to install this game. Are you telling me that what you're witnessing right now does not is not making you rush out to play this immediately? Are you telling me these settings are not going to be your top and only settings for the for the rest of the <laughs> rest of your risk career? Goodbye classic fixed. Goodbye EU caps. Welcome to the brand new meta brought to you by Vampire Chicken. It's quite simple, guys. Do you have 12 hours a day to win a single game of Risk? Look no further than bridge capping. I have an urge to play this now to get 2K troops on one territory. Hey, do you like seeing numbers go up by 17 over time? Holy cow, do I have a game for you. If you wanna see a number in the thousands go up at an approximate pace of 17 troops per minute. Oh man, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to, this is 17 simulator. Welcome to big number simulator. If you like big numbers, see going up slowly over time. Hey, yeah. What's, what is 1561 plus 17 guys, anybody chat? I'm looking in the back, back of the class. Who's got it? Who's got it? 1578. 1578. Okay, 1578 plus 17. Who's got it? Who's got it? 1578 plus 17. Who's got it? Who's got it? 1595. Holy cow. Some smart chatters. Some smart chatters. Did we do any skydive chess playing? Oh yeah, you missed it. <laughs> Hot buttons stream enthusiast identified. Yeah, earlier the chess portion was, I, I can't, you know, it's really nice to be able to settle down. After I was doing a skydiving chess stream a couple hours ago, I decided to sit down and play a little bit of Risk to cool off. Now I'm doing this. Yeah, it was legendary. Unfortunately, the stream, the VOD actually got removed though. Twitch said it was like too dangerous or something, so they took the VOD down, but you really missed a good one. Here's an ad time, courtesy of Manjaro Black. It's laundry time. Yeah, do you have laundry to do, but you also need to play a game of Risk? Well, I found the optimal settings. How do you attack so fast on PC? I, I click, enter, click, click, enter, enter, click, enter, enter. Also, I got the animations turned off, number one key. Go in these settings up here and turn your animations off. That's the number one key to being immediately better at risk. You do not want to miss if you are not a sub right now. Oh, God. You might never for the rest of your life know what 1714 plus 17 is. Wake up tomorrow. And, like, you're crossing it. You just go for a nice casual walk on a bridge. And on that bridge, there's a wizard. And the wizard says, 
If ye shall pass my bridge, ye must know 1731 plus 17. And if you weren't watching this gameplay, you might get the answer wrong. The witch could throw you over the bridge. Think about it, dude. You want that to happen to you? No, you gotta, you gotta watch Vampire Chicken. For multiples of, of 17. I'm imagining the gameplay. You have to, yeah, it's, it's just not the same though. It's just not the same. And you missed a wizard joke, so I mean, joke's on you. Yeah, here's the biggest thing. Oh, he's giving up. Go here, camera animations. Turn that off immediately. World record longest win incoming. No, I could never take that away from JJ. Looks like he's gonna bot out. He's gonna bot out and then come back. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's it's not close. Uh, what are we at? Three hours? Yeah, we're like a tenth of the way into a JJ thing. Or he's stalling. That's fine with me. However he wants to do it. I mean, I got friends to talk to. I got. I mean, this is easy mode for me. I got a cliff bar. I got chat. I mean, I got everything. Ooh, 10 plus. Oh. Oh, he's offline. We broke him. Just when I was about to taunt him, I was going to do this. 10. Plus five, <laughs> plus two. I was about to taunt him. So now this is a bot. Let's give the bot one turn to see what they do. Yeah, it could be a fake out. So we should play it the same way. Oof. Good fortify, good fortify. All right. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so we are playing against the bot. I am close to hitting the stack. Yes! No! <gasps> Yo, so one per turn. It's quite simple, really. We wait 17,664 turns. So he's only putting nine on plus four. Wait, he's confusing me! Plus nine, plus four, plus three, but then he subtracts one by putting it on the cap? I, I can't! How many? Is I can't keep up with the intensity of the game. This wizardry, bro. 1780 adds a nine. Wait for it. Adds five more. You're on a bus. Ten passengers get off. One gets on again. Fourteen more move back. How many people are left on the bus? I don't know. This is really a tough position. This is really a tough position. It's very, very tough. <laughs> you think I can do it because it's a bot? It's possible. But what if I lose this roll? Just take it when I feel comfortable? I, I will never feel comfortable. What if I lose this? Ah, I'm psycho! How'd you feel about that? <laughs> no slider. I ain't like that. I'm built different. Around here, I do it my own way. Wait five minutes, I gotta go do something. No! The action never stops. And I got the bridge, so I win. I'll put them all in. I wish you would. Idiot. What an idiot. Stupid dummy. Ah! I'm so good at this game. I wish he would come back. I wish he would come back. I want to see the look on his face. Bro, I was learning. Oh, apologies to those learning. Yeah, you won't know what the 17, you just, there's a lot of, a lot of learning opportunities here have been missed today. Go ahead and figure that out, stupid bot. It's still possible to fake bot out. I want to see the look on his face. I want to see him come back and spam some sad face emojis. I'm ready. Bring him back. Go find him and bring him back. I want him to see this.
I mean, could almost win right here. I can cap run. Which also means I can world dom. Am I mentally prepared for this? Let's see what we get here. Oh, slider? What's that? Oh! Never heard of it. What is a slider? This connects this way, right? Domination victory in one of what has been described in the risk community as one of the most intense Rivertown progressive battles of all time. Sliding is for noobs, as far as I'm concerned. Intermediate is red, expert, novice, beginner, expert. Holy cow. What a crazy game. What a crazy, crazy game. <laughs> Do I dare do it one more time? Look at my rating. I'm so sad. But I gained so a lot there. The first one. So I was at like 25 today. Losing that first one hurt. Then we got a second and then we just got a first. Where did GM go? Oh, as soon as the bug came out, I lost it. I have not yet recovered it. Of course. All right. Look, this stream is going to go on forever, but we're going to run it back. Do not join my lobby. We're running back the same exact thing. But now we got a lot of knowledge, okay? We had two completely unique experiences. We had a game with just absolute sheer chaos and nonsense. Then we had a game that stalemated. But it's time for the Rivertown run back. Do not join my lobby. You lost 50k elo to the bot as well. Please, different map. Why? It's Rivertown, baby. It's Rivertown all day. It's the Rivertown run back. Look, we got to get our rating back. We got to get our rating back. And the only, the best way to do it, of course. Of course, the best way to do it is to play some Capital Conquest, okay? And you want the games to go fast, you pick a small map. It is so logical that this is the fastest way to level up my risk rating, right? I cannot imagine anything possibly being superior to Rivertown Capital Conquest. Fast. That stalemate didn't even last an hour. This is my only chance to eat. JJ, he's so cool. He'll eat on a YouTube video. Me? No, no, no. Not me. I got to get it all in in between the games. But let's get pogged up for this last one. I don't care what people think. That's what makes you so cool, bro. Some of us, we got, you know, we're just ashamed. In fact, like, I'm chewing, so I should, you know, I should cover my mouth. It's impolite. I eat on YouTube shorts. Yeah. Hey, what does JJ eat? I'm, like, always watching JJ videos. I spend most of my time being like, what is that guy eating? Because it must be, like, microwavable meals. But, like, how do you get, like, how are they made so fast? Do you have, like, a girlfriend or somebody I don't know about that's just, like, making you food in the kitchen? Do you have, like, a private chef or something? He's got, like, some sort of, like, personal assistant that is, like, because he gets, he has, like, a meal. It just comes out of nowhere. He, like, walks off the screen and comes right back with, like, a meal. But it's like, and he's just like, I don't know how he does it. We want to hear loud eating on the vampire chicken only fans? No, that's mostly for feet. It's probably tacos. Yeah, there's a lot of tacos on the JJ stream. It appears that nobody wants to play this psychotic setting. Do you think we should do something different or is this the best, is this the optimized setting? You are his personal chef. Ah, so you know what it is then. I cook meals during the Caps games. Ah, that makes so much sense. Because it feels like he almost has to have somebody. <laughs> How is he getting prepared meals? How does he do it? How's my YouTube video doing today? Did everybody watch it? I'm expecting it to not do well because it's not my normal settings. Oh, look at that. It's not doing well. 
But some people liked it. Most people, most of the comments are, where do you live? What the heck? I, my viewers are stalking me. I'm confused. Twitch user I am Rosen is live and vampire chicken? Doesn't sound possible. All right, one of you is in my lobby. Get out. Do not join my lobby. Start a fog game? No, no, no. It's ineffective for people's watching enjoyment. Less people will want to watch, even though the game will be more interesting for higher level players. Fog obviously makes it very interesting. Fog on this map would be like kind of interesting. You'll watch on two times speed. No, my retention time. You're destroying my retention time. Watch it on a quarter speed. That way all of my videos, YouTube will be like, wow, this one hour video, somebody spent four hours watching it. And they'll be like, give this to more people. EU advanced prog caps with fog? Never. Look, just because JJ was here for the last game doesn't mean that like we're gonna do everything JJ wants. <clears throat> Unstable portals. No, but then what would the point of the bridge be? The whole point is there's a bridge in the middle of the map. Portals would destroy Rivertown. <laughs> two times speed is the only way I can watch Risk videos. What if I just speak like two times faster? That I would just sound so stupid on two times speed. Hey, guys, I didn't want to play the game of Rivertown. And if you want to see this, you're going to have to be and like, what if I can actually speak at four times human speed? People would have to slow down in order to catch it up. I can't believe what's going on, and then we got this bot here, and then he's going over there, and this is happening, but I can't believe it, and then he's gonna hit the cap, no way! So we're gonna be sitting here watching, and then we're gonna add 17 more to our cap, what is gonna happen? And then I could, maybe I could actually, maybe I could convince people to slow down. That would work, all right. So I just have to keep up four times the level of energy as a normal human being. I'd have to play twice as fast too. Yeah, that is the tough part. So what I could do is I could speed up my videos four times speed and then ask you, the viewer, to slow it down if you want the normal experience. <laughs> the intro is, hey guys, this video is on four times speed because I know a lot of you guys like to speed it up. But if you want to see it at the normal pace, go down to the below, change it to one quarter of the speed and enjoy this at the normal pace. And then if you like two times the speed, make sure you put it at like half speed to get the normal enjoyment experience you're used to. It would, it would destroy the algorithm. It would require that some people put some work in though on their end. But then if we pulled it off, oh baby. <laughs> if we actually convince people to do it, YouTube would be like, what the heck? It's only a 15 minute video, but people are watching for an hour. What the heck? Something really cool is happening in this video. Risk is a slower game. Young people have no attention span. Maybe I could put like scrolling cat pictures. If I put a scrolling cat in the background, I'm actually just gonna do it on, I'm gonna speed it up like eight times. And even if you put it on the slowest setting, it's still gonna be so fast that you'll probably have to go back and rewatch parts of it. Do I need Subway Surfer on the side? Do you think I can just, what if we put like Eric Rosen on the side? Would you guys be happy? I could, I could put Eric Rosen's stream on the side. <laughs> It would, it would feel so comfortable. It would feel like, whoa, I love that guy. But you know what else we love? Serve capitals on Rivertown. This is gonna be nuts. Now we've done this twice already and we had two wildly different experiences. Game one, absolute noob smash fest. We saw somebody die before the very first turn and we saw some ridiculous wild stuff. Game two, we saw this game. It was just, it was a beautiful stalemate. One of the optimal stalemates you'll ever see in your life. It was a really a beautiful thing. Now, what I have learned is that if I cap here, and we'll explain this map here for people just joining. The, you, everyone's gonna double bridge cap, yellow's dead. They go last. If I go here, yellow like, and purple goes here, yellow will not be able to cap here. Or they can do 
They can be nuts. I think the play here is Market Street. This cap seems to guarantee second place, though. Merchant Guild is not stupid. I think you guys want to go here. What does green want? Like, I think I'm going to go here. We need a Rosen cam. I'm going to try this. How am I going to get messed up? Yellow and per I don't know. Like, maybe this is safer. I don't know. Let's go here. So this is Rivertown. And the way it works is that there's a giant bridge cutting the left and right side of the map, which means when people cap on the bridge, the only way through is to get through the bridge. Who won the last game? Who do you think won the last game, okay? If the last game was the stalemate game and we waited for our opponent to bot out, it was, it was a JJ style true masterpiece. It was one of the, some of the most exciting gameplay ever on Twitch. I can't even publish it to YouTube because it's, it, the gameplay has been known to cause heart attacks upon even barely witnessing such a masterpiece. It was a masterclass in endurance. Holy cow, nobody's on the bridge. Yellow can bridge and I'm stuck behind with all these goofballs. No! Wait, what are you guys doing back here? Get out of here, get out of here. Wait, we got green card blocked. If white is cool and we trade in here, green's blocked, green's dead. And then white and I, we easily live peacefully and white never gives... Somebody that caps behind you like this though, they do hit ya. Ooh, not the bridge. Off bridge. Ah, but now to get to the other side, I have literally no chance. What are the odds of a 14 on 12? Um, where do I get a card? I feel like getting a card on turn one is often the most impossible thing to do in the, the, the history. Oh, and we also failed this. One in a hundred. Do you think I can get it this time? We failed an eight on four. Not today. I've already I've already used my one in a hundred luck. Lock purple in. Purple is locked in. <laughs> Look at purple. So yeah, yellow's cap is so devious because it destroys purple. Purple is dead because of the yellow cap. That's too funny. But nobody bridge capped, which is amazing. What is green doing back here? So green has these two cards and they have this exterior. Now they're gonna go here and here. They're gonna like hit all of this to get this stupid bonus. They're gonna get removed from this side of the board and they're dead. The problem, they're aimed right now only at me. I'm actually worried that somebody's gonna really noob slam me. Purple does not want me to have this bonus. I don't know where purple's next card is. Okay, they saved a card. I thought they were gonna take this bonus, but like purple, oh, they can hit this five. Purple might be able to get more cards. I can trade with yellow. Oh, that's true. So yellow and I have infinite trading in the bridge. That's true. And then I can card block white at the end of all of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no bridge caps, it's ridiculous. So this one is gonna play out. Every game is actually like a completely different, unique experience with these settings. It's kind of wild. Is white gonna play the game? Ooh, white botting out. And then I can do some double cap strats. It looks like white is not gonna be playing with us today. All right, please step aside and let somebody else take your cap. But it actually doesn't matter if like green somehow gets this cap. He would never, cause I go before him. But it wouldn't matter cause I can always trade with yellow. Is this a bot? No. Opens up the red cap behind, okay. Wants to trade back there with red, makes, makes enough sense to me. Uh, am I attacking this five? 100%. Okay. I have managed to get a card. And maybe yellow's mad at me, but maybe we can work together later. We'll see how it goes. 
I can imagine red rolling this camp, even though maybe there's no reason to do it. So I'll take cards here as long as I have a position, and then when that position closes up, I'll need to reevaluate my strategy. What is green going to do? I mean, you can try adding to your exterior, but it might not last forever. They add to this 10. I do not know why. I think you want somebody to hit this because it would give you a card. You have a strategy. No, no, no. Only luck. That's why my, my FFA just goes up, up and down, up and down, because it, there's no real strategy built in. Purple leaves a 12 right next to my cap. I would argue this is quite rude and dangerous. I mean, but on this map, like, obviously it's wait and see, but, like, we're so close to each other. Like, all of the caps are really close, and everybody could be card blocked by anybody at any point. It's basically, like, just barely, barely get a card. Although me skipping at some point in the first position maybe would make sense. How worried should I be that purple's gonna hit my cap? I have a bad feeling that somebody's gonna hit my cap even if it doesn't make any sense. It could be purple or white, even green. I don't think, I think any one of these guys might hit my cap. Why did purple not cap on the bridge? Who knows? They would be in the exact same position though. Because yellow would have gone here, not sandwiched, but here. So because yellow had both of these options and they were going last, purple had, did not have, neither one of these were good caps. Either way, yellow could destroy them. White is a bot. Okay. Green should remove them, meaning purple, from the west. This is the west. You think green should remove purple? Maybe. So white is a bot. No, they're back. Wait, what was that? They're back. They're not a bot. Okay, I'm worried about... I don't think red wants a card down here, but let's give him the option just so we can keep trading. JJ went live. I totally won't switch over to his stream. Thank you. And also thank you for not announcing it in my stream. Imagine if all of the viewers went over there. I would hate to see it. Even worse, I would hate if, what the heck, he's doing the same thing. What is he doing? Hey, you're stealing my content. What a jerk. How dare he? How dare he? What the heck? <laughs> What a guy. He's playing these settings. So we can compare and contrast. From what you've seen in the last few days, you think white's a bot. Yeah, it does feel like the disconnect thing is real here. What are you doing? 90? I see everything, okay? Don't think you can pull any fast ones over on me, 90? I see everything. Oh, no! No, you idiot! Purple! So, purple is not asking for a card. Oh my god, purple's gonna roll me, aren't they? Purple is gonna hit me, aren't they? I said I inspired him to play these settings again. Wait, he's done this before? It was a warning shot. But purple, don't you want cards too? Oh, purple lost their cap to red. Oh, I was, I was, sorry. Sorry guys, I was watching JJ stream. I didn't see that the opponent had made a move. This is like, it's been a long day of risk, so the, it's kind of breaking down. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll watch a little JJ on the side. <laughs> Could learn some, learn some tips that I might be able to apply here. So white is trying to connect. So they got disconnected, they're trying to come back, but they apparently probably cannot move. You think I'll be fine probably against purple? So purple needs to get a cat back. Whose do you think they're gonna try to steal? I'm a like, I'm actually just busted here. I think I'm actually busted. I don't, I, don't, I, I do not, I cannot conceive of a way forward here. It would be good if green gets removed from the left side. 
Yeah, green getting removed from the left side would be ideal. I was not given a card back here unless yellow is so kind, but I think they've established a little trading thing here amongst themselves. Red can easily get blocked at some point too. Green does get removed from that side. I am terrified. I'm quite honestly terrified here. I mean, I guess I'm gonna hit this four because it's the lowest number and I need a card. So good on green, I guess, for making me do this. I only lose one, so it was completely worth it. Purple is gonna hit me. We'll see how it goes. Cool, I do maybe have a card on the other side of the board that maybe I can use, cool. Red is going back to the other cap. And let's see what green does. So green only has two cards here. Now the problem is purple is lined up to hit me. White is a bot. So purple, you should be waiting to try to steal this white cap, which you'll never get because it's going to it's gonna come this way and you're, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough for you, buddy. Nobody's turned in yet, so it doesn't make any sense to kill anybody. And the person that we would kill would be purple. Okay, cool. So green stays away from me. They have one more card and it's sitting right behind him. I definitely think green should move this 12 away and tr offer black or red some way of coming back here. It would be worth more to remove purple from beneath me. I don't think there's no, purple is a, is a bit of a loose cannon here. How much did they get? So they actually didn't hit anybody. They started with eight. Uh, the bot's gonna come down this way. Cause this is a one, the bot's gonna come sweep down here. And then it goes yellow, then me. So I can steal this cap and then I can try to double cap guard against green to keep green card blocked. I'm always nervous in the openings of every game here. Oh, this bot is gonna be, it wants this bonus. Oh no, white bot is gonna want this bonus. Oh, so I'm gonna lose that seven for sure. Yellow is gonna have to hit this five of red to get a card, unless they want to eliminate the bot back there. I do have a trade in, I do not use it. I come this way. And hopefully that nine doesn't come down and kill me, but maybe it does. You think it's looking good for me? Yeah, but I'm always scared. Because purple could hit me for no reason. Green could, I don't know. I don't even know what back, I'm gonna have to split here because white is a bot and so they're gonna roll off this. And I'm gonna try to be splitting two caps and purple's gonna sense an opportunity to hit me. I don't know. I'm doing better than JJ. I wouldn't know, I'm not often watching his stream. Wait, who's this 90 guy in here? Hey, what the heck is that 90 guy all about? That's an imposter. So green is done. Green has taken their fifth card. They will need to turn, ah, they're lining up to try to get this cap. Now I could let green get that cap and not care. And then either I infinitely trade with green, but if the situation changes, I can infinitely trade with yellow, maybe. But the fact that this bot is gonna come down and there's a 14 already here, and he's got to turn in for not a lot. It's very scary. Yeah, green knew my cap. He didn't know white's cap, but it was, he, green actually didn't have a very good, a good opening. Green should be like, ah, oh, man, I got a bad spawn. There was nothing I can do. That's what he's saying. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Green, okay, green has a turn in. Can they actually remove that nine? Ha! Infinite trade with bot. No, impossible, impossible. I guess we're gonna yoink that cap though, huh? Why only ranked games? I'm a dangerous man. I like to I like to live very dangerously. It's pretty sad for green, huh? Pretty sad. It's gonna get sadder. Watch this. 
Give me that. All right, now what is purple getting? We don't want purple to come back in. You know what we're going with this? Go ahead, see if anybody can break through that. I bet you guys can't. I don't think any of you are getting through that 12. Good luck. If you're white, you should try to infinitely trade with white because you're probably not getting a card on this turn. As green, sorry. If you're green, maybe you hope that the bot gives you a few more cards and opens you up to be able to, I don't know, hit me or something. So purple is capless, green is blocked. Red and yellow are really cool on the other side of the bridge, just, just happily doing their own thing. So I actually die here. No, wait, this is very bad. So if, wait, I need somebody on this side and that person should be green. I give this cap to green. I think that I do. I need somebody behind me to trade with because yellow could card block me. These guys are working really well together. I think that I give green this cap so that we can infinitely trade. No idea how risk works, so I'm trying to figure it out. Me too. But what I think, are you insane? I cannot eliminate both players from here. I need a player behind me. I need somebody on this side because yellow will block me. Get, get cards from purple. I think green is a better player. The purple, that, that was actually factored into the equation. You can attack green anyway. I think I should give green this cap. If I give somebody this cap so that I have a, a little buddy behind me, I think I'll be better off. You agree on trading with purple? What about trading with green? <laughs> Have you considered that? Green doesn't allow it. Let's give purple a card. They should be very happy now. Green should move this away and let me trade with them but they're not going to, are they? Green should move their seven away so that I can trade with them. I'm not gonna trade here and open their cap for them. But these two are getting along very well on the other side of the bridge. I can't give the cap to purple. Well, giving that would mean I hit up on a turn where green cannot do anything. See, but green is doing this. Neither one of these players is strong enough to just trade cards with me. I am on the noob side. We got the two pros are on the left side, and all of us noobs are here on the right side. Now get away from me and we'll keep trading. Okay, no, I can trade with purple. Okay, cool. I can maybe trade with purple, but their purple is dangerous because they're keeping their 35 here. Switch between them. That's devious. But green needs to let me take a card easily. Green should want me to hit this square, but they're making it look like they don't want me to. And they might get mad if I hit their seven. But switching between the two is like insanely brilliant, huh? How do I give the cap to purple? Because they're also making it look like they don't want to trade with me. Something about the way they're playing makes it seem like they do not wish to trade with me. Why am I even creating cards on the right? You know what? Actual good question. I should use this position for as long as possible. Let's see if I remain on that side. So like yellow should just like remove me and then keep trading with red. Because those guys are pro. You're playing Risk like I play chess. <laughs> okay, I take a card here. Okay. So red and yellow are going to keep trading. And I think no matter how much I put on that side, they will remove me.
Purple or green could have a trade and they could do something regrettable. I could easily see with a 15 trade, purple deciding to do something that, you know, maybe interferes with my ability to win this game. Something like hitting my 34 cap. So purple, I just helped you. Green, I'm willing to help you. You just should probably move your seven back, bro. In purple, you're menacing my 34 cap. But maybe maybe these guys are overly nice and they're letting me stay here for a bit. Okay, purple doesn't trade. They may or may not have a trade, but they've decided not to do it. Oh no, my, my left side. Okay. I, I believe I'm being removed from the left side of the map. Or maybe they want to trade. Yes! Oh no, card block red, and then we can work together. It was, I thought you were going to card block red, and then it was like, yo. Let me indicate my interest in staying on this side. I'm happy with that. Okay. I thought yellow was going to leave a bunch here and red would be blocked, but red has five cards, but maybe they're interested in it. So maybe red should eliminate me. To make it so that yellow needs to trade. But yellow and I, no, wait, yellow and I are winning because we can always trade on the bridge. But the way I lose is if both of these players come off of this side of the board. And then these two trade. That's the lose condition. That's what needs to be avoided. I always need one, a buddy back here. I just don't like either of these noobs. Red should probably remove me. This, I think, is correct. But we can card block red now on the bridge. Purple's lurking for a higher trade. I don't I don't doubt it. Because purple might really have a trade. But at some point, they have to do it before it's worth killing them. They have to turn in their trade before it's worth it financially for me to eliminate them. And then I trade with green for the rest of the game. Ah, okay, so green does give... No, it doesn't give me a card. Okay, I thought he was going to move them all. Doesn't he want me to take a card here? I'm not sure. I'm going to try trading with green. Block red? I cannot do anything to red. It has happened. What an idiot. All right. <laughs> He's going to try again. Great. Wonderful. How amazing. So actually, I try to eat up these cards slowly now. That's how I do this. I now try to, one, one per turn, take all these cards. Is yellow attempting to block red? It would be, it would be weird. Yellow is gonna try to block red. But what if red has a trade in? I don't think you're gonna get away with this, bro. I think you're gonna blunder. I don't think, I don't think yellow's doing this right. They're trying to block red. The way you block red, though, is you trade with me on the bridge. So I have a trade in. What is purple getting? All right, let's just trade in. Let's just not mess this up. Okay, I trade in. Put an extra 20 here. Go ham? No, I'm going to go slow. So it's just It's going to be slow and painful. You're not going to like it. 25 will hold up. Okay, that's my turn. So I have one, two, three. I got a bunch of extra cards here. We're going to slowly and painfully destroy purple before, if we need to trade with green, trading with green. I can even let purple potentially get more cards in a little bit. I think red maybe recognized the dire situation I was in, but I survived against the evil purple attack. Green is going to give me, let me take cards there. What are they doing? That's a human deciding that fortification. Another human being decided to, to put one on this cap and leave this as a five. Discovered you on Rosen stream. Figured I'd see you in my own element. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Less chess, although we did some chess today. <clears throat> this is me it's me being scared of a of a risk game 
So yellow is now going to attempt to eliminate red from this side of the board. Oh, they do it that way. Oh, because they want a whole bunch more cards. Oh, it's so risky though, bro. Because red could uh, red could turn in and at least hit you. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't work though. Green knows the strat. It's the turtle. <laughs> maybe he knows about the turtle strat. Wow, Red gets a card. Well done to Red. And he's trying to card block yellow. <laughs> why are these guys fighting? I, I, like, I honestly don't understand. I understand why Red is doing it. If yellow wants to kill Red, I think the secret is to trade with me on the bridge. Okay, now they've gone here, here, and here. Now they're going to fortify one back. No, this time they don't fortify. Okay, go ahead and hit me. Go ahead. Hit my 41. Go ahead. What's my four favorite board game and why is it Risk? Well, it's, it's not chess. So <laughs> the best appeal of Risk is how not chess it is. I'd rather see a bunch of noobs slam into me all day than blunder all of my queens. <clears throat> Do I give purple another card? What do you guys think? Let's give purple one more card. <coughs> Let's let purple add into there and take a card. There's no bridge in chess, right? Or I guess there is. It's a, it's a rook endgame technique. Wait, so risk has bridges and so does chess. I guess if you like fans of bridges, we'll like both games. He shouldn't take it. Yeah, but he will. Trust me. He's going to fall right into my evil plan. But I cannot eliminate both of these players. I need one player on this side of me. And it's going to have to be green. But green doesn't appear that interested in trading with me. He doesn't appear interested, but maybe if I offered him an opportunity of a lifetime, he'd turn, he'd turn it all around. Purple has taken a card. Now watch him stack against my cap. You know it to be true. I think my next card I take from green. Oh. Honestly, I think this is my play. Let's try giving green a card and see if they appreciate this or not. Trade with purple, why? Purple has a card. Purple can get a card here. I don't think I can trade with purple. They've already hit my cap. They've shown aggression. I don't think that they're the high level theoretician that you guys think that purple is. I think purple is a beginner, maybe a novice. Why let green get cards if they're blocked? I'm also blocked in a way. I need some. I need to trade with one of these two. If I eliminate purple and green, yellow can block me, and yellow is strong enough. But you have purple. Yeah, but I don't trust pur purple. Is not good. The purple's just not good. They're not. That's that's not the way that they're thinking. I'm about to get raided. Wait, who would raid a guy like me? I'm four hours deep. Why am I getting raided? It's interesting that they don't show you the skill level till the end. Yeah, but it's best that way. Because, you know, on good days, I'm a grandmaster. I am Rosen! Eric! Hello, hello! Welcome back to all of my friends. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen you. We're playing some Risk. Thank you, Eric. So huge shout out to Eric. We're playing some really ridiculous, silly 
settings today. Oh no, I'm not logged in as me. I cannot even give you a shout out officially because I'm, I'm not even logged in as me. But I'll hydrate. What is Red saying? Wait, I gotta take a card and then I'll say hi. Welcome new people. This is the game of risk, global domination, and I will hydrate. <clears throat> I believe this was Eric's first stream since I was over there. I think I'm now no longer the last person to stream on the I Am Rosen channel, but I could be wrong. If you're unfamiliar with Risk, you're probably really confused right now because we're playing on a very silly map with some very silly settings. But I'll do a lot of hydrates. Is this all you want from me? Is you just want me to hydrate, huh? Was Eric playing Blitz or what was he doing? Yellow's getting owned. No, yellow is about to card block red. So I'm going to offer to yellow that we trade here now. Is that moonshine or what? It's, it's, no, it's official Schrantz. Title Tuesday. Ah. So red could die if yellow and I trade here on the bridge. So if you're just joining, this is capital conquest. So I have my capital here. Yellow has a capital there. And the capitals are very good for defense and hard to beat. What is purple gonna do? So now I'm about to do something. Watch this tactic. I do a little fist bump to yellow, by which I mean if you hit the bridge, I'll hit the bridge too, and we can both trade. And then we can try to card block red. This is not how they see it. Yellow just doesn't take a card, that's wild. Okay, so here's how I'm going to play this. That's way too many on that one square. I'm not going to give purple another card. I'm going to go here. He's not going to hit the bridge while you have a kill guard. Well, I don't because he can trade cards with red. But my ultimate goal would be to get yellow to eliminate all of this. Right, I want to kill guard yellow at the very end. I guess they would be getting third place in a lot of scenarios. Should give purple one more card just for that extra card. Meh. <laughs> yeah, so I can give purple one more card here. Okay. Purple doesn't seem grateful. Don't kill purple at all. So people think that I'm going to be able to work with purple as if he's not an ultra noob. <laughs> That's, he's just going to obviously keep slamming into me. I guess we trade with green here in this situation. Let's trade with green. So green's going to get a third card. But I'm all right with it. I didn't take on the bridge. I know that purple wants to kill me. So if they have a trade in, they are just going to smash into me, even if it doesn't make sense. That's all they ever do. If purple is really good, they get second place here, right? They have not demonstrated that they're on that level. If purple is really good, I keep them behind me forever. Green is blocked and they can just get cards forever. Why are you making me yell at my computer? You do not need to. You don't under purple is a noob. And now he's going to noob slam the other guy. <laughs> I want to back this 25 up, though. Maybe we give him a fourth card. Or maybe I just trade with green forever. Green is kind of chill now. Green didn't understand that I wanted to just trade with him indefinitely. But now they now they got it. I think we just forget purple. I just don't like him. They, they always just hit my cap. I don't like him. Forget that guy. I like green. Green's cool. Green's chill. Let's take green all the way. And red and yellow are not getting anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we've been offended by purples. I mean, don't mess with me. I have other options. Red, like, loses if he wins this anyway. Red's busted if he wins. I hope red wins, because then he's dead anyway. I'm literally in the best possible spot. Yes, I can trade with, like, three different people. Why don't I kill purple? 
I don't know. He's I could I can kill him whenever I want. I have a kill guard. I could kill purple, obviously. The problem is then I go here and then I go here. And then if I put this back on the cap, my cap's not open. So I'm highly prioritized keeping my cap open to go this direction. And as these trades get bigger and bigger and bigger, I can kill purple for a huge amount later on. I have to be cautious because purple could be doing a giant jabate where they have a trade in. Okay, and then they, they go here. They're like, yes, 70, and then they're gonna smack me. I'm just gonna leave purple be. So actually, I think yellow should trade with purple because that will make me want to kill purple. Like, I, I should almost remove this 43, but not kill purple. Hmm, purple. I got some real bad news for you, bro. You're not gonna like this at all. I am not gonna let you live there. No. <laughs> nope. Get owned. But I'm not gonna kill him yet. Yellow's gonna die? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So if yellow takes a card here, though, which red is afraid of. Wow. If red wins this, they lose the game. So yeah, war is cruel. So even if they win this and they get this capital, they have only one, two more cards. And also they're, they're not really, they're, they're not gonna get it, dude. Tough luck. It looks like you're not gonna get it. Looks like you're not gonna get it. Go ahead. 20 on 29, 13 on 29. You're not gonna get it, bro. My cap is closed. It is unfortunate, but letting purple survive is not the way. It will get opened. Because whoever is here will open it. Yellow wants to take a card here because they don't want to give red a card. And if red wins his cap, they're going to want to get cards. They're going to have to take them here. I have infinite cards because of green. Off to get some insurance quotes. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> See you later. Pickled pepper. Thanks for hanging out. Now we're going to see if purple has a turn in. They apparently do not. If I want to kill purple, good luck. Thanks. Oh yeah, are you going to, you're threatening me with your four? Victory, you think so? <laughs> you think so? Now the question is, if yellow goes here, do I kill yellow for these three cards? If they open up my cap, like I could kill them. So they're going to go nuts on red. All right. I guess I'm going to take it on the bridge. I'll leave a nine there. Go purple, then yellow? Maybe. That actually probably, that might win. But then in either case, I have to, I get to pick one player. Right? So I'm going to get to pick the player that gets card blocked. Do I work with red or do I work with green? And green's kind of my real homie. But I might just keep this block on purple times forever. If yellow doesn't have a trade in, they're in, they're in tough shape here. Although honestly, I could almost kill like literally everybody now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna give green second if I'm allowed. Cause yeah, green's chilling, dude. I do respect that purple is not leaving the game though. It's very, it's, you know, it's, it's good manners. Wait, this isn't Eric. It's not, but Eric did raid moments ago. Maybe you came through on the raid. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people think that I am Eric Rosen. Just because, you know, for 10 days in a row I was streaming on his channel. And we're kind of the same in the sense that we're both like human beings that speak English. Where's Australia? Uh, well, this is where, this is the turtle. I guess there's no one point hold. There's, there's actually no, like, one-point hold on the map. But there's a bridge. Yellow gives red a card, but why? All right, let's eliminate yellow and take it from there. But not purple. Not yet. Do we eliminate red right now? What do you think? I mean, yeah, come on, man. I guess we'll just eliminate red while we're here. 
Or we can card block him and do this like ultra mega slow mode, but let's just eliminate this guy. Give purple second. No. <laughs> Have you been, I'm not sure if you've been watching this game. You might be unaware of the going ons. That's so close. I get a turn in from this. Thanks for the good luck. I know I needed it on that roll. And now let's polish this all off. You know what? It was a pleasure playing with you, Green. I'm gonna wor get get world domed. You know what? Good game. Well played. Stayed out of trouble. Traded me when I needed it. Hundred percent roll. And that's how you win on Rivertown. Our second win in a row. <laughs> <laughs> with these very difficult settings. So I don't know how I'm going to put this on YouTube, but maybe all three of these games, or I don't know how to even split it up, man. But we had an expert, an intermediate, an intermediate, an expert, and an expert. So if any of this goes on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next video.